Hello and welcome to the No Name Prayer Podcast. I am your host, Monica. Let's pray with St. Padre Pio. The book is called Praying in the Presence of Our Lord. In the presence of God. Come to the Bridegroom in His Eucharistic Presence. It is I, Jesus, who sent my angel to you with the testimony for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David and the bright morning star. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let everyone who hears say, Come, and let everyone who is thirsty come. Let anyone who wishes take the water of life as a gift. Revelation 22, verses 16 and 17. Padre Pio spent countless hours from his childhood until the day he died. In the presence of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, he urged everyone to rest in this divine shadow too. St. Pio's words. Despise the snares of evil, and with unlimited trust, sit down in the shadow of the Divine Bridegroom, and fear nothing. Lucifer's scorching rays will not penetrate the shade of such a densely foliage tree, and even were they to penetrate it, your soul should not fear to be scorched by them. Those rays which would like to touch you will serve to make you proceed invariably with greater fear and love. So where the devil intends you to lose, he causes you instead to gain ever new treasures for paradise. Oh, how well protected is that soul whom God has gathered beneath his wings. Yes, you can well sit down and rest in utter peace in this shade, for he who fills you with many graces, will not allow you to fall. Jesus wants you wholly for himself. Cast yourself with sublime abandonment into the arms of God, and he will fulfill the plans he has for you. Consider yourself fortunate to have been made worthy to sit down in the shadow of our beloved. Drive far from your mind those vain fears because such fears are genuine waste of time. Do your best and Jesus will perfect his work in you and be glorified by it. Prayer. Christ our Lord, present in the most blessed sacrament, I hear your still small voice calling me to come to your Eucharistic presence how easy it is to get caught up in the everyday whirlwind of work, family, and other obligations. How difficult it is to take even half an hour to spend time with you, meditating on your real presence. Please motivate me to make time to do that. Thank you. Amen. This is um, this to press the perfect prayer for me, and uh, I found the book like a week ago. I, I've had it for a long time, and I've never actually read it. I've had it for years, never prayed it. Um, and now I see why it was tugging on my heart for me to to start on it, because this is exactly what I needed. Where it says, please motivate me to make time to do that. I've been lacking motivation, as you can probably tell by the uh, lack of um, episodes that I've been posting. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for nudging me. Thank you for um, giving me the resources necessary to get me back on track. I love you, Lord, and I thank you. I thank you for your love and your mercy and and your loving guide as always. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Pray for me that I will pray for you.